Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will teach you how to combat in the new diving systems underwater of a fountain. The new combat system underwater is different respect to the, the traditional fighting mechanic on the ground. Here under the water every character you pull will lose their attack, skill, burst and the talents. Besides some special characters who will have special talent related to underwater just like Lynette which will hit you more when you bring when you get the fish underwater every character's attack will be substituted with this type of attack so by pressing the attack button the small ball will unleash a row, uh, wipe so the main advice for you is to use the character with the highest amount of the hp underwater so at least you will not die too quickly even if you get hit by too many enemies just like John Lee. 60k hp respect uh, uh, like Nahida only 16k can survive for longer. This is the first advice. Underwater, don't try to fight just using the default attack method. You can see you deals really really low damage, only 2000 per hit. Underwater, the main way you do damage is by using the special power you can get from the blue creatures. There are three types of um, powers you can get underwater. This is one of them, the scuttle. Just uh, use the normal attack near to them to get their power and uh, you can see your ball will be substituted with a new symbol. This is the symbol of the scuttle. The scuttle ability is if you just press one time you will do a shockwave around you and you will gain a small shield to protect you from enemy's damage, as you can see. Press it, hold, you can select where to launch the next attack, like this. So we'll launch a powerful attack. 14k damage, respect to your normal attack, only 2k is a really big buff, right? Now, there's another special ability of uh, the scuttle. Okay, it's about to hit me. During the charge mode, if your character gets a hit, you will charge your attack into a burst attack. The burst attack will do more damage, as you can see, 54k. So this is the main way to use the scuttle buff. Besides for fighting, the main usage for the scuttle buff is to destroy these rocks with the blue lights inside it. What you have to do is just to get close enough, then hit it, it will destroy the rock. The next power-up I'm going to show you is this, the cut. About the cut buff, you can get it from this type of fish, the really, really flat fish, just to get closer, normal attack will get the buff. This one you can charge, you can save up to two charges of the elemental skill. The normal attack, so if you press just one time, he will launch a slash in front of you, dealing pretty good damage. As you can see. 22k damage. You can hold it to charge the attack. The charged attack will deal a bit more damage and you can, uh, you can aim on which direction you will shoot the attack. This attack can go across the enemies, so for example, there are two of the seahorses. If I do the charge attack to one, oops, one, it will hit the one behind as well. This buff is really useful against, uh, for example, this type of uh, boss, mini boss, which is uh, when they are linking to each other to charge the attack, just a hit in the middle to break uh, the charge, as you can see. This is the second buff. While the usage of the blade, blade power up, outside of the fight is to, is to cut this type of wines. You see the glowing point, just aim and destroy. By doing this you will cut, uh, destroy. Um, yeah. The third and the last buff, this is the buff you can get from the blubber beast, which is the eco. For example, yeah, let me take it. For example, by pressing the attack only, you will shoot in front of you a small uh, eco attack, dealing pretty good amount of damage. You can uh, hold to constant deal damage. For example, now I'm doing 8k. You can hold the skill, so you can see you will consecutively launch the eco's attack, dealing consecutively damage. And these three are the buffs you can get underwater of Fontaine. So don't fight anymore against the enemies only by using the normal attack, because it does a really really solid all damage. The normal attack is mainly used to get the power from uh, these blue creatures. And uh, that's it guys. Hope this video helped you to understand how does the combat mechanic underwater works. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!